Hong Kong, Overseas Chinese Banking Corp. OCBC, plans to set up a wealth management business in China as part of a strategy to double its profit in five years in the country's so-called Greater Bay Area, its chief executive said. Greater Bay Area aims to bring together Hong Kong, Macau and nine southern Chinese cities to form a business powerhouse that will seek to rival other metropolitan megacity hubs and mimic the likes of Los Angeles, New York or Tokyo. OCBC, Singapore's second-largest listed lender, expects the launch of the wealth management business and the expansion of its banking presence in the Greater Bay Area to be a new growth driver for the bank, CEO Samuel Tsien said. The bank did not give a timeline for the launch, which will be subject to regulatory approvals. These plans should help OCBC double its profit before tax in the Greater Bay Area to more than 1 billion Singapore dollars by 2023, Cian told reporters in Hong Kong. OCBC is also looking to raise its headcount by 40% to more than 4,200 in the area over the period, Cian added. OCBC, which counts Singapore, Malaysia and Indonesia as its main markets, already has a wholly owned banking unit in China with presence in cities including Shenzhen, Guangzhou, and Zhuhai, as well as bank branches in Hong Kong and Taiwan. The gradual opening up of China's financial market worth trillions of dollars has infused some overseas firms to bulk up their presence in the country in sectors ranging from insurance, asset management, wealth management and investment banking. We believe that China, wealth management, market in terms of product availability is quite limited. We also believe it is a matter of people not being able to structure it in a way that private banking clients would like to have, Cian said. The market is developing, there will be more and more products available and you will need banks to pull that together into a structured portfolio for the private banking clients. China's onshore private wealth market has grown 12% since 2017 and is estimated to reach 159 trillion yuan, 25 trillion US dollars, this year, according to consultant BCG, making it the second largest such market after the United States.